Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a review of the Beaten Stag Buster version of the Transpod, which is looks exactly the same as the old Transpod, it's just in different colors, and you do get some different sounds. So uh, let's just go ahead and jump right into this and take a quick look at the box. Uh, typical fare, you have a picture of Beat Buster and Stag Buster here, you got him holding it, shows what you get with it. On the top you get that cool silhouette image of the two of them, and at the top you get a picture of them normally. On the side here it shows like, hey look, he can transport and he gets this weapon. And on the side here you get a cool picture of the two of them together, which they're really cool suits. And, uh, and then on the back here you get a picture of um, the kid using it and what you get with it and Beat Buster here and how you use it and the various sounds it makes, which I'm going to leave open to, sh oops, to show these sounds. So let me just pull this back in. Alright, so now I'll just show you what it comes with and I'll just get this part over with. Um, just like the last... Uh, Transpod, it comes with this strap here. As you can see, the kid's wearing it around like on the show. Um, like, it doesn't fit me, so I'm assuming unless you're really, really skinny or a kid, it's not going to fit you. But so, it's neat that they do it. I mean, I know it's a kid's store, but I wish I would have made it a little bit bigger so I can be a GoBuster too. Um, then, obviously, you get the Transpod and then this um, holster thing for putting it on the strap or just in general trying to uh, hold it up more. It's going to stay. Oh, huh. anyway. So that's what you get. I'm going to set this aside because it's easier to turn on and off. So here we have the Transpod. Um, as you can see, it's different colors. Whereas the last one was all black here, it's silver. And instead of having a silver button uh, with the GoBusters logo, it's got the GoBusters logo with gold. And the gold and black actually looks really cool. And I think overall I like the look of this one better. It's pretty neat actually. Um, yeah, I, I definitely like the way it looks. Just a quick comparison because I have it here. Here's the old Transpod. So this one looks pretty bland, where this one actually looks pretty cool. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll just turn this on. You get those noises. So uh, just like last time, uh, you get some various, n this time not animal noises, in the last one you got animal noises, and this one you get bug noises and like songs, and then you get the three voice changing things and then the transpod thing which I'll show last. So let's start by press this button, you get a little song. And then, that sounds like crickets. If I get these wrong in terms of the bugs, I'm sorry. I think this is that construction work sign they're showing there. Um, it sounds like a mosquito. That sounds like a dinosaur. And then, um, those, are, those are annoying things that I forget the name of that are during summer. So those are all the bug noises you get, and now we're going to cycle through the voices. I believe it goes robot male, female. So I'll, you, you press this and then hold this button down and talk into this piece. So, so I'm going to talk into it. So you get this voice. You get the robot voice. We are the Dalek and you are the doctor. Okay, so that's the robot voice. And this, I believe, is going to be the male voice. This is the male voice. We have him. Bring the money to the exchange or something along those lines. Uh, I don't know if you could hear it that well, but hopefully you can. And then this is the female one. This is the female one. We have the one. Something about chicken. I don't know what to do with this voice. Okay, so that was weird. I just got to have fun with that. But so, pretty much the same as the other one. Um, I guess the sounds are a little bit better because you get a song and some more interesting noises than random animals. And the bug motif makes sense because of them being uh, bug-like uh, rangers. And the voice changer thing is kind of fun just to mess around with. Um, and so last but not least, you press this. Transport. And you get transport. And according to Shugi, and then I tried it out, it is faster than this one. Uh, let me turn it on. Because I had a problem with this one, like how long you had to hold it down. Calm down. You had to hold this down for so long. And this one seems faster, see? Transport. Let's just do a race quick. If it'll stop making noises. Okay, race. Are we ready? So it's buffed like a few seconds, but this one is faster. God, that's loud. Sorry. But so it is faster, which is nice. But so overall, I mean, 
Unless you're a completist like me or a huge GoBuster fan like me, I don't really see a need for you to own them both. Um, if I had to pick one, I would say go with this one just because I think it looks nicer, it looks a little less cheap, and I just think the noises are a little bit neater, and the fact that the transport noise is uh, quicker, it makes more sense, because like, you wouldn't want to be in battle and be like, oh come on, hurry up, I need my weapon. So, I mean, you're like, not you're going to really be in battle, but so if I had to pick one, get this one if you absolutely have to get a transpod, but uh, neither of them are terribly necessary, but this one's definitely better. But so, uh, that about wraps it up. Until next time, make sure you check out writersrangersrambles.com as always. Until next time, stop some writer, 